Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, December 17th, 2013. This is Talk To Me Tuesday, number 116. Just had a kitty crash through and knocked my camera over, so got to start over again. Um, not a whole lot to show this week. Actually, only have one thing that I can show that is completed. So we'll get started with some updates. The one thing I'm making for my two older boys for Christmas is not yet completed, but that close. I have to create a wire base for it, and unfortunately in the pattern the person doesn't give you any guidelines whatsoever to go by, so you kind of have to wing it on your own, and hopefully I'll wing it, and I'll wing it right, and it'll come out the way it's supposed to come out, so, and I'm also using a heavier weight yarn and a larger hook, otherwise these things would have been tiny, so... We'll see what happens, but those, of course, will be in the video slideshow that I do for Christmas. Um, sock update. I ran into an issue. I completed one sock for one person, and as I said, I want to do one sock per person with an IOU that they will receive the second sock as soon as it's completed. And... I cast on for the second sock, and I noticed that there was definitely gaps. You know, it was pulling on the yarn. And it is a slightly thicker yarn. Don't, don't forget that. Oh, my ugly ornament. It's not <laughs> ugly. Say hi, Sasha. Hi. <laughs> so anyway, I cast on for the second pair of socks, and... I noticed that it was really pulling on the stitches, and I'm like, this is not going to work. So, frogged that and went searching, and I did find a pattern that I think will work. Um, it uses a heck of a lot more stitches. I think it's like 24 more stitches than the other pattern. And I can actually combine the two if I want to and make one sock, but yeah, I'm not an expert sock knitter so therefore my issue was if I increase the number of stitches in this pattern then I have to figure out the heel turning and not dealing with it so went with a different one um, because I was using the Burnett socks and I wasn't really paying attention to the fact that the Burnett socks and the step above sock yarn that I received were actually two different thicknesses so I'm going to put them side by side Hopefully you'll be able to see that the difference in thickness, come here, you can literally see, I hope you can see, there's a difference in thickness there. This is the step above and this is the Bernat sock, so that's where the problem came in. So not a problem, we switched to a different pattern, take care of that little hiccup there, but I don't foresee having one sock for each person done. I mean, we have a week before Christmas. You know, I would have to actually... Oh, you're going to make this difficult, aren't you? <laughs> Kitty cat. Um, I can't foresee being able to do it because I have four more socks I have to make. So that would be like almost a sock a day. You know, a day and a half per sock. I don't know. Anyway, you know, we'll see what happens. Even if I don't get one sock per person done, I can just let them know I have another gift coming for you and, you know, leave it at that. Um, I am working on a pattern for myself for slippers. It is called Classic Women's Snow Boots. I frogged it twice yesterday evening. Um person tells you to use an H hook for the small and the medium and an I hook for the large. It's two strands held together. I went according to her pattern the first time and I'm looking at it and I'm saying, this is skinny. This is really skinny. This is crazy. This is really skinny. So, frogged it, tried using different stitches to make it taller to give it the width. Still didn't like the way it was looking. Frogged it again. Uh, ended up actually increasing the hook size to get what I needed. Um, other than that, I haven't run across an issue in the pattern itself, but I will try and remember to put a link in the description to where you can get the pattern. I purchased it some time ago, just never got around to doing it. 
So, <coughs> excuse me, if you're interested, you know, just keep in mind that you may have to change the hook size because I personally don't know anybody who's not just their heel is really, really skinny, which isn't even three and a half inches in the heel area, but I don't know anybody that the front of their foot is three and a half inches. I don't know, unless she's got really tiny feet, which is possible. So, yeah. <laughs> um, other than that, the only things I have to show, my, as you saw, my daughter just came in with something that I can't forget to show. Uh, we actually did cookies this past weekend, and um, we were hoping to do this really fancy decorating. We were all set, and once we got started, we were like, ah. <laughs> We're just going to, you know, do whatever and slap the icing on them, which is fine, you know. But uh, if I think about it, I will put picture at <laughs> in here somewhere, put the picture at the end of the Christmas cookies we made. Um, it is a recipe my grandmother used to use all the time. It's not a super sweet cookie. They have just enough sweetness that even if you don't ice them, they taste good. But if you use an icing, it adds just enough sweetness where it's not overpowering, but it's really good. Anyone who's interested in the recipe, they make excellent cookies. Just let me know and I will, you know, give you the, uh, yeah, the recipe. <laughs> so anyway, um, let me show what I have to show. First off, I'll show you what my daughter brought in um, after we were done with the cookies she was looking to do something more, so we pulled out some glass ornaments and with a little glitter. I don't know if you'll be able to see too well because the lighting is all that great. Let me try to give you a little more light. But this is mine. I say it's an ugly little ornament. She says it isn't. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I kind of do the, uh, what do you call it? The crocheted and the beaded. So, but there it is, needless to say. Um, she's done some really nice ones, but of course, she doesn't do videos right now. She gets too frustrated with having to deal with everything. So, there's my, I call it my ugly little ornament. <laughs> she says it's not. <laughs> but uh, the only thing I have left to show, uh, we actually gave our fur babies their Christmas gifts. This past weekend, although my kitty has another gift coming from my daughter, but uh, she has to wait for Christmas for that. Um, we had been at Joanne's, and I picked up some a piece of fleece out of the remnants. I paid sixty-two cents for it. We got home, we opened it up, and it was just the very bottom of the bolt, and it was probably I don't know, maybe. Eight, eight, nine inches wide, something like that. So we cut it into three equal pieces. I stitched it together. I did a crocheted edging on it. I do have a sharp hook, but when it comes to fleece, let me tell you, sharp hooks do not work too well, especially with some of the fleece that is really super tight woven. So I actually had to take an old knitting needle and poke holes and do that, but that's okay. So <coughs> here it is. It's a nice lemony yellow and it has a steel blue edging to it and she likes it and if you would like uh we actually recorded my daughter's bunny rabbit opening her gifts and my little fur baby rolling around enjoying her gift so if you're interested i will put a link in the description you can actually go watch the video if you haven't seen it so but uh yeah, so we're trudging on. We got some more snow. We got hit with a storm this weekend. And I woke up this morning and it was really, really lightly snowing. And it's picked up since then. So we're getting hit with some more snow. Which, you know, for those who have to shovel, and makes it a whole lot of fun. They won't let me shovel around here because of my shoulder. So anyway, um, I think that's about it. I look forward to watching everyone's videos. I hope you all have a wonderfully crafty week and a wonderfully crafty weekend. A uh, week away from Christmas, everybody, and I hope your plans are going to work out the way you want them to. 
other than that, uh, for me, I'm out of here. For you, it's good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, whatever it is. I really do hope it's a great one, and I will see you all next week. Bye.